Hey, welcome everyone. Let's see how we can build a simple searchable report that's password protected using no code whatsoever. And we're going to accomplish that using Caspio's platform. I'm going to log into my example so that you can see exactly what we plan on developing in today's video. Once I log in with my email and password, I should be able to see my report that allows me to filter my data. I can see the results in a tabular format, and we can also drill into details if needed. Keep in mind, this is a very simple application built on the platform. You can build a much more sophisticated solution with charts, with calendars, submission forms, even backend triggers to automate procedures and many, many other functionalities. So let's skip over to Caspio so that you can see exactly how this was developed. Once you're inside your Caspio account, you're going to begin by creating a new application. And I'm going to start by importing data from Excel. Let me show you my Excel file. My Excel file contains contact related information. Please keep in mind this is fictitious data. There's no actual PII here. We have our column headings on the very top and then we have all the data underneath. And I'm going to build my application by importing my data directly into Caspio. So I will select this option. You can give your application a name. I'm just going to abbreviate that as contact management. We're going to locate the file on our computer. Here it is. And we're going to go through the import wizard to bring that data into our account. The first screen is going to show us the table name, the action, so we can create a brand new table. You can replace existing data. You can append new data to your existing tables. You can update and also update design. You can give your table a name, depending on your own preference and your own naming convention. We're going to hit next. You're going to see the sample data that you're importing. You can also change the data type. Once you're done making your changes, you can import the data. It shouldn't take too long. And once you see that the data is imported successfully, you can go directly into your table to view the data, which now resides inside an online database. Now to build a report that allows me to output the data from this table, I need to go over to data pages. Data pages are application interfaces that eventually end up on the website for your application user to consume or interact with. So we're going to launch our data page wizard by clicking on this button in the upper right. And we're going to begin by building a simple tabular report that allows us to filter our data, which is the example that we looked at just a moment ago. We're going to hit next. My data source table will be the table that I imported from Excel. You can give this a name. Let's call this manage contacts. This is for your eyes only. The style allows you to change the aesthetics, the look and feel. I'm going to go with blue. And then you can also change the localization depending on the regional settings and continue. And all you need to do is follow the instructions based on the question here at the very top. In other words, do you need to have an interactive search form? Well, I do. I would like to show the search form. I want the results to appear underneath the search form, and I want to display the results on the initial load. We're going to hit next. What fields would you like to use in the search form? So for now, just for the interest of time, let's just have a few fields. Hit next. And then you can choose the form element in terms of how you want to filter your data. So for example, I want to leave that as a text field which contains comparison type, which is more like a keyword search. And I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the rest of my fields. But don't forget, you can have different form elements from drop downs, check boxes, radio buttons, list boxes, depending on how you want to filter your data. We're going to hit next. What information do you want to have on the results page? So let's have maybe the first name, last name, title company name, phone, and email. The rest of the information we can include in the details view. We'll hit next. I'm not going to allow my application user to modify my data on the web, but if you would like to do that, just keep in mind that option is available if you choose one of the following options. We'll hit next. I'm not going to make any changes here. Let's continue. Let's display 25 contacts per page. You can also sort your data, and you have some advanced functionality here to download the data back to your computer if you'd like. Let's enable a details page. And on the details view, I would like to include all of my fields. And you'll notice that by default, everything is set up as display only. In other words, read only. If you want your application user to modify the data on the details view, you can change the form element just like on the results page to something else if you'd like. Once you're done making all of your modifications, you can click finish to save your changes. And that's how easy it is to build a very simple searchable report in Caspio. To publish the report on the web, you're going to hit the deploy link, enable deployment status, grab the embed code, copy it, and then depending on who you're using as your CMS, if you're using Webflow, if you're using Weebly, GoDaddy, to build your website, 
In my video today, I'm using Weebly. Each CMS will have a different interface. For me, inside Weebly, I need to drag over the embed code into my canvas. I let go. I'm going to click inside that object and just simply paste my Caspio code to position my report on that part of my website. Once I publish, and we go to my website now, I should be able to see my three search fields, my results directly underneath that I imported from Excel, and now my end user or my application user from that URL will be able to view the data and be able to filter. The final thing that we're going to learn in the video is how do we password protect and only allow certain users access to our application. So let's go back into Caspio. Let's navigate back to the home page, and you're going to want to go inside directories. Directories is where you're going to create all of your identities. So if you have customers, you want to create a directory for your customer. If you have employees, if you have partners, depending on different channels. In my example today, we're going to create a very simple one for the employees. We'll hit create. And inside that directory, I'm going to quickly add my very first user. Again, I'll use a fictitious email here, John Doe. The identity provider, we're going to use Caspio. The directory is essentially is a built-in IDP provided by Caspio, or identity providers such as Okta or Microsoft Active Directory. If your organization is using an external IDP, you can link that IDP directly with your Caspio directories, and you can choose that identity provider from this list. Right now, I only have Caspio, so we'll select that. We're going to activate the user using a generated password. You can also activate the user by sending an email with the activation link. I'm going to copy my password for now. And I want the user, when they first log into the application, I want them to change the password when they first sign in. Let's hit Create. You should be able to see John Doe listed. And the final step that's left is to apply the authentication back to our data page. So let's go back to the home page. Let's reopen our application. Navigate down to Authentications. Create the authentication. For your data source, you're going to use the directory that you just created. Directory. And expand the advanced settings and simply just say auto redirect to directories login screen. Hit create and let's call this employee login. Hit finish. And now the final step is to apply this authentication back to our data page. So we're going to edit our data page that we created just a moment ago. We're going to hit next once and restrict access to the authentication object. We're going to hit finish. And now when we go back to our website, you're going to be able to see that login screen as soon as that web page loads. And now let's go ahead and log in as John Doe which again was our very first user inside the directory. We're going to hit continue. We'll paste the password that we copied. And as soon as I sign in, you're going to see how it's asking me to change my password. So let's quickly just come up with a brand new password for John Doe. Let's make sure we type the same password type twice. And as soon as I log in, I should be able to see my report and be able to filter my data. And that's how easy it is to build a very simple internal searchable report that's password protected in just a couple of minutes using Caspio's no-code platform. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.